address in my front yard. And the mailman shows up with a letter from the army. Now I'm here. No idea where I'm gonna end up. I, uh, I've been involved in this movie for a few years now and, uh, uh, you know, Billy Ray wrote the script. I was completely entranced by it when I first read it. I was, it was intense, it was uh, full of great characters and, and, uh, and, it, and it was also batshit crazy. Um, I, when I first read it, I was like, this is, this is like a great adventure movie. It's like Indiana Jones on acid, right? Um, and I, all I, I spent, um, the, it was all there, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, put some time into uh, making sure the, the characters were believable and that we loved them before we dropped them into hell. And so that was, that was, a, that was a very, uh, um, you know, a, a, a time um, where I, they allowed me to, to, um, uh, spend the time getting that right and we were constantly exploring that even through shooting yeah, totally and we were allowed to to find versions of ourselves that i thought can always make it a little more interesting there's a dynamic that you can add to it but you have to have somebody that trusts you enough to be able to do that and we were, pre we were really lucky to have julius be able to trust us just enough to help with that No, I, I, I on purpose didn't watch any more movies or characters like that because I feel like sometimes you can get sucked into trying to be someone else. Uh, that you know, I'll never be whoever that is, you know. That so I, I would watch documentaries, a bunch of war documentaries, and try and get a feeling for how, sort of what they were like, you know, just sort of what they were like in real life. Um, but I didn't have anybody in particular in mind that would be a mistake to try and be somebody that had already been done. Yeah, I mean, you just become like a... a yeah. A, yeah like a regurgitation of yeah, something that already happened. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I watched a lot of uh, war movies, a lot of genre movies, you know. I, I grew up in the 80s, um, and so I was, you know, uh, influenced by a lot of movies that came out then. Um, but the real journey started for me when I was a little little boy. Um, my grandfather was in World War II in the African campaign, and uh, he had this photo album, and I was obsessed with it. Every time I would go over to, to Granddad's house, he'd go, Granddad, I wanna, I wanna check out the photo album. And he would, he would, I would spend hours sitting with him just asking all these questions and, you know, um, just looking at all his adventures. And it struck me that like this, there was, there was something really, something big that, that happened here, and it was much bigger than me. It was much bigger than him. And ever since then, I wanted to make a war movie, even like a crazy, bonkers war movie that our, our film is. Got to see it on a big. You got to see it on a big screen. Yeah, like try and try and uh, you know bring friends uh, to a theater. It's a, it's a good night out, you know. It's a fun film. It's a it's a, it's a roller coaster ride. Um, you know, uh, you you're if you're into uh, you know getting getting beat up a little, our <laughs> films our films uh, for you. Yeah, it's fun. You can watch movies on Netflix. You can watch movies on at your, on home on your TV. It's great. But there's a few movies nowadays that uh, are not Avengers movies that are fun to go to the movie theater to see. And honestly, for real, if you're gonna spend $13, or I don't know how much it is to go to the movies here, but if you're gonna spend 13 bucks or 15 euro, 10 euro to go to the movies, you wanna feel like you got your money's worth. And I swear to God, I swear to God to you, that it, you'll feel like you had got your money's worth. Like, you really will. And I think that's kind of fun to be able to say. Yeah, it's, I mean, uh, a big part of this movie is the sound design. Mm. Uh, and so, um, you know, it, it really literally you'll you'll be in, in in the seat and it will rattle your to you to your bones and uh, you can't get that at home. Most people watch things on their iPad now and, and like yeah. you know, that's that's 
that's not cinema, it's not a cinematic experience. Um, and also, the great thing about going seeing a movie is it's like a, it's a, it's a communal thing. Mm. You, I, I really get off and going to the, a movie uh, like this one, you know, um, where everyone's so you feeding off each other. There's this kind of spirit. There's this energy you can't recreate when you're at home. Mm -hmm.